found in time for the end of March deadline. Talks are set to resume next week, Yukaroi explains. Leaving Lausanne for now, the US Secretary of State sounded an optimistic note. While admitting that differences remain, he said both sides have made genuine progress. We have not yet reached the finish line. But make no mistake, we have the opportunity to try to get this right. In Tehran, the Iranian president was upbeat, declaring a nuclear deal within reach. There is nothing that can't be resolved, he said. I believe that the Islamic Republic of Iran has sufficient resolve to negotiate and reach an agreement within the framework and red line limits that we have set. The other side also has to make a final decision. In a reminder, however, of Iran's hardline political powers, Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei lashed out at the West for their economic sanctions. As supporters shouted, death to the United States, the Ayatollah ruled out any cooperation on regional security. Negotiations with the United States are nuclear issues and nothing else. Everybody should be aware of this. We do not negotiate with the Americans on regional issues. Sticking points in the nuclear talks are set to include the pace of lifting sanctions and the duration of the deal. France, for example, wants to keep sanctions in place and says any deal should last at least 15 years. Negotiations are set to resume next week, ahead of a March 31st deadline. Well, for more on the position of Iran's supreme leader, a little earlier I spoke to political analyst Mila Jokar, who specializes in Iranian affairs. He began by telling me that Ayatollah Ali Khamenei is the key to the negotiations' success and as a result is having to do a delicate balancing act. Ali Khamenei is the supreme leader and he, if you will, he embodies the Islamic Republic stability. So this is why on the one hand, he supports uh, the negotiators. And on the other hand, he says that uh, I, we can have negotiations, but we don't trust the Americans and they will potentially betray uh, what they can sign. So he is protecting himself because protecting himself means protecting the stability of uh, Iran's political system. So this is why it is very tough um, to, to talk between two lines. But we have seen that he's been more supportive of the negotiators uh, so far, and this can be only positive for next week uh, to have uh, Khamenei's back when it comes to signing an agreement. And does that balance between those two positions perhaps indicate that even if a nuclear deal is reached, relations between the US and Iran are far from truly normalizing? Well, this is one of the concerns of uh, US allies in the region, the, the Arab states of the Persian Gulf and uh, Israel. But I would say that we can see a potential detente between the United States and Iran and not a real rapprochement. This is, this is a, main a major difference. Uh, we will not expect to have normalizations of relations between the United States and Iran, especially after 36 years of enmity, where people have been so opposed to one another, it will be a political suicide in Iran to say, all right, I want to cooperate openly with the United States. And same in the United States. It will be very difficult, even a political suicide, to say that we want to negotiate and well cooperate openly with Iran and normalize relationships. So this will be, if a deal, a, a detente that will open up doors to, for cooperation on different security issues, but not a normalization of the talks. It will take more, much, much more time. Stopping short of announcing the immediate end. To